Philippine Aerospace players gear to become global suppliers of parts and components to undergo training on AS9100 quality management systems. The Philippine aerospace industry is gearing towards complying and aligning its capabilities as global suppliers of aerospace parts and components as qualified local aerospace companies are set to undergo training that will assist them in implementing aerospace quality management system, AQMS, in their firms leading to AS9100 certification. AS9100 is a widely adopted and standardized quality management system for the aerospace industry. Major aerospace manufacturers and suppliers worldwide require accreditation to AS9100 as a condition of doing business with them. An initiative under the Aerospace Roadmap the training program is set to be implemented this year under the supporting Philippine companies in the preparation and implementation of an AQMS aligned with AS9100 requirements project, following the recent signing of a Memorandum of Agreement between the Board of Investments, BOI, of the Department of Trade and Industry, DTI, the Metal Industry Research and Development Center, Merck, of the Department of Science and Technology, DOSD, and the Aerospace Industries Association of the Philippines, AIAP. The next two decades could see the Philippines becoming a hub for manufacturing and aftermarket services in the aerospace and aviation industries in the ASEAN region. As the country's participation in the global value chain is increasing, the capability training program suits well as these will further enhance the competitiveness of our local aerospace industry. This means more quality jobs for Filipinos and more export earnings for the country, said Trade Undersecretary and Boy Managing Head Seferino Rodolfo during his keynote message at the ceremonial signing of the agreement with Merck and AAP at the Innovation Hub of the DTI International Building in Makati City. Under the Tripartite Collaboration Project, the Boy, under the Industry Development Program, IDP, will provide the funding as well as coordinative and administrative support for the smooth implementation of the program. Merck, meanwhile, will implement the program in coordination with the AAP for the needed assistance specifically in the pre-screening and selection of prospective participating companies to the capability building training activities. The Aerospace Industry Roadmap envisions the country to be a hub in aerospace parts manufacturing and allied services, MRO, in Asia. The industry also projects to export an estimated 2.57 billion US dollars worth of aerospace parts and components by 2022, and for the industry to employ around 15,000 personnel by 2022, authored by the AAP with the guidance of the BOI and other government industry stakeholders. The Aerospace Industry Roadmap identified technological constraints in the integration of process capabilities in the country. Apart from the challenge of building a pool of suppliers with AS9100 and NADCAP certifications, the industry is also challenged in the areas of a small supply base that can cater to the requirements of the Tier 1 aerospace parts manufacturers in the Philippines. Additionally, investments in critical supply chain gaps, such as surface treatment, heat treatment, plating, anodizing for aerospace application, are needed to reduce the cost of local manufacturers to 19%. The roadmap is being implemented through a technical working group composed of several government agencies such as the Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines, Philippine Aerospace Development Corporation, MERC, Commission of Higher Education, Technical Education, and Skills Development Authority. Philippine International Trading Corporation along with the private sector composed of the AAP, the Maintenance, Repair, and Overhaul Industry and the Aviation Schools Association of the Philippines. About Aerospace Aerospace manufacturing is a high-technology industry that produces aircraft, guided missiles, space vehicles, aircraft engines, propulsion units, and related parts. The industry is comprised of government and private industries that perform the institutional roles of end-users, suppliers, and manufacturers. The value chain consists of the government and airline companies as primary customers, OEM companies, a tiered chain of suppliers and manufacturers, companies that perform MRO of equipment and parts, and the consuming public as aircraft passengers. Currently, the domestic aerospace industry has an estimated 15% share of 2013 GDP and a projected 0.57% share of 2022 GDP projection given a positive program intervention spearheaded by the government. There are currently three Tier 1 suppliers in the country located in economic zones. The industry is under the supervision of Aerospace Industries Association of the Philippines. Among the industry's strengths are Labor force and strategic location A pool of young, relatively cost-competitive, English-proficient, highly trainable and fairly knowledgeable manpower that makes up the aerospace-specific labor force, which is in turn supported by a chain of aerospace and aviation schools. At the same time, Philippines is located in a strategic location and could make the country serve as a potential vital link in the aerospace industry value chain. Growing commercial airlines 
the growth and expansion of domestic airlines such as Philippine Airlines, PAL, Cebu Pacific, CEB, and Zestair are contributing to the development of the industry. PAL entered into a $7 billion contract with EADS Airbus in 2011 to acquire 34 units of A321CO, 10 units of A321neo and 10 units of A33300s and $2.5 billion to exercise an option to acquire 10 more units of A330 aircraft. On the other hand, SEB in 2011 announced that it was purchasing 30 units of Airbus A320neo and 7 units of Airbus 320 for $3.8 billion to more than double its fleet by 2021 and expand its international routes. Presence of suppliers and linkages Presently, three major original equipment manufacturing, OEM, are located in the country, MOB, which manufacture actuators, B Aerospace, which manufactures galleys, and Janko, which manufactures airframes and subassemblies. At the same time, the creation of the Association of Aerospace Industries of the Philippines, AIAP, is a positive factor in solidifying the initiatives for the growth and development of the aerospace industry because it presents a collective voice in helping shape the government policies and incentives affecting this sector, growth in business aircraft, although the country lagged behind its regional neighbors in the growth of business aircraft, 65% growth rate in the Asia-Pacific region, it grew by 45% over a 10-year period with 63 business aircraft in 2012 compared to 46 in 2002. The region increased from 947 units in 2002 to 1,566 units in 2012. Business aircraft are corporate jets that are not engaged in public transportation services, the country can capitalize on this trend by capturing more market share in the overall demand in the region.